Hello, friends. It's me. Yet again. Uh, this is my uh, updated and improved uh, Joseph Newman motor. And as you can see, it's uh, a lot bigger than my other uh, version was. Um, I'm using uh, one inch by one inch um, neodymium magnets. Uh, there's two of them, so quite a strong um, magnetic field being produced. I'm using number 30 copper wire, and I have just under a pound and a half uh, in this coil. And you'll notice that the coil looks a little different um, from uh, other uh, Newman motors out there. The difference is that it's a sphere-shaped uh, coil instead of a cylinder shape. And I just, uh, I just thought that that would work um, a little better, you know, a little bit um, greater efficiency could be created by doing it that way. And we have the same commutator as before, I just took it off the old machine and stuck it onto this one. And I'm using um, carbon uh, brushes for them and uh, I got those out of um, a couple of electric motors that I had and uh, there's slip rings here, I'll just zoom in a couple of slip rings one on each side um, there's one and here's the other one And uh, I've got, um, what is it, 13 uh, 9 volts. It's about 104.7 uh, volts in total. And yeah, um, I wish I could show you the inside of this thing a little better. Actually, maybe. Maybe I can. Yeah, so there's a little look at the inside. It's a perfect three inch uh, sphere. I created it um, using balsa wood and a glue gun. And That's about it, so I'm going to stop talking and just turn it on now for you to see. It's pretty loud too when it, uh, when it starts. Okay, here we go.